and we have in amongst that these alleged um, papal errors. So we have first in 358 Liberius. He signs what's called the Sirmium Creed, which says that, uh, which is a kind of compromised creed with over Arianism. It's vague, it's not actually heretical, but he's criticized for it, its vagueness. But actually, he's in exile, and I think it's, I think it's the Emperor Constantius who's um, put him in exile. So he's not actually offering teaching for the church either. So it doesn't fall within the realm of infallibility. So Liberius is out of the picture. They can't, the Protestants can't use him. Next we get Vigilius, and that's at the time of Justinian's um, fo um, focusing on the Monophysites. Well, Vig um, Vigilius is refusing to condemn what are called the three chapters who teach Monophysitism. Well, the three chapters, basically Vigilius doesn't condemn, he does condemn them and he doesn't condemn them. But it doesn't matter because he's not teaching for the church. He's not saying Monophysitism is correct or the three chapters were correct. He just didn't want it. He didn't see that the point in raising the issues of dead men. That's Vigilius, no, not an issue on infallibility. And the final one is Honorius, who um, was accused of teaching um, monothelitism. But he didn't. There were some ambiguous letters um, that were written, but he never taught this as a teaching for the church. He never taught it at all, actually. He, he actually didn't teach anything on this subject. So one can't be accusing infallibility of being breached if Honorius never taught that. So those are the three main charges that Protestants and Eastern Orthodox try to level against the popes. Thus our teaching in Pastor Eternus of the First Vatican Council is um, unaffected by the best cases the Protestants can bring. I think it was said in something I read that if you take popes over 2,000 years, it's extremely difficult to find any examples of them teaching error. And that's astonishing over 2,000 years. So we can be confident that in the Catholic Church you do find infallibility in the Pope and we can therefore be confident that when our Popes teach, when they say it's infallible or when they effectively teach infallibly for the whole Church on faith or morals, we know that is true. And that is that.